On Thursday, August 12th, Public Affairs Officer Angela Aguilar hosted a large reception for high school students from Macedonia about to depart for the United States for a year-long high school exchange program. The program is called YES, the Youth Exchange and Study Program, and is supported directly by the U.S. State Department. We greatly enjoyed hosting the event and enjoyed even more the individual stories of the departing and returning students. Here are some of their stories. Hi, my name is Arieta Tarushiti and I'm an exchange student. I'm going to Brattleboro in Vermont. Um, I'm so excited because I've never been to America and I think I'm going to spend a great time there. Hi, I'm Christina and I lived in Portland. I really like the educational system in America because it can really help you f to decide what you want to be in the future. And my message is you should always try to do something in your life and never regret. Uh, my name is Ava. I was placed in Sigourney, Iowa. And so I'm a YES alumni. And I had a wonderful experience and I would recommend it to anyone really. Uh, hello, my name is Andrea Mitesca from Macedonia. I'm coming from Kumano and I stayed one year in Michigan, Sheboygan. It was the best year of my life. Hi, my name is Maria Stojanova. I come from Stip, Macedonia and I have a placement. My placement is in Ciro Rapids, Iowa. I expect I'll have a great time in the US. Hi, I'm Dora Memeti. I come from Tetovo. I was the representative of Macedonia at Benjamin Franklin Transatlantic Fellowship uh, this year. I am just um, a, a week back from here, there, and of course that I'm really impressed by everything I saw. And I just want to encourage all the, the high school girls especially uh, to become part of this programs, to apply and just to try because you can never know how something can turn out to be. And also invited were the parents of the departing students as well as the returning high school students from last year's YES program. The beautiful weather and relaxed ambience set the stage for the departing students and their proud parents to learn more about the experience. Позитивните и убавите работи што ги има во Америка да ги пренесе тука, што е целта веројатно и на оваа програма, да тоа што ќе го научи таму го пренесе на другите деца тука. Ние се умееме во за школ, прес сукцес прекса, тут ке се не звели мири за, да мунго е, црдо. Во нашата кирка не ли аплицираше за оваа програма, ја доби стипендијата. Е сега ние покрај не се бевме среќни, можам да речам дека сепак ќе ни биде тешко следнава година без нези, ама ова ќе биде големо искуство за нези, така да ја поддржуваме и нека и биде се најдобро. Yes was established in 2002 to provide scholarships for high school students to spend an academic year in the United States. Macedonia joined the program in 2009. Students live with host families, attend high schools, engage in activities to learn about American society and values, and help educate Americans about the countries and cultures. This kind of uh, exchange, I think, is the best diplomacy. Uh, that there is, and each one of you, young people from the Republic of Macedonia, is a diplomat. You are an ambassador and going to the United States to uh, represent your country and, and help us, help Americans, help my countrymen understand more about Macedonia and the region, the variety of cultures and experiences and traditions that you share here, and to learn, of course, uh, about America. The goals of the program are to promote a better mutual understanding between cultures, to learn leadership skills, to foster lasting personal ties. And upon their return, students apply their own leadership skills in their home countries. Many students become involved in community service activities including clothing drives, mentoring young children and English teaching and much more. The scholarship program is fully funded by the United States government. The program is supported at the local level by U.S. citizens and local secondary schools that voluntarily host, educate and support students with no financial compensation. Selection, orientation and travel arrangements for the program are organized by the American Councils for International Education, a not-for-profit organization leading the development and exchange of knowledge between the U.S. and Eastern Europe, Euro-Asia and the Balkans.